Okay, if you have no way of um, copying game save exploit files to a Xbox memory card, then this could well be the solution for you. Um, what you will need is an adapter like the one shown here, and you can find them on um, auction sites such as eBay, or you could make your own. Um, it's basically a female USB connector um, spliced together with a um, Xbox game controller cable. So, um, so if you uh, if you have the know-how, if you want to have a little look on Google, you can create your own. If you've got a broken controller already that you can butcher and some old um, uh, USB device that has a female port, um, you can certainly build your own. But if you're not comfortable with that, like I say, have a look on eBay and likes of that, and you can pick them up pretty cheap. So, uh, what that will enable us to do is. Um, plug the left hand side that you can see there plug that into the Xbox and we can stick a USB stick into here and that will act as a memory card now um, unfortunately not a lot of USB sticks work um, I find to have the best success with the oldest ones possible the oldest ones and also ones um, that are very small so in small in storage space so, for example, I found um, a 256 megabyte one, which seems to work very well. Um, it's it's almost guaranteed if you go above a four gig stick, it's it's not going to work. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the hard part is finding a stick that works. And as of yet, I've not found any kind of compatibility list, unfortunately. So, it's just trial and error. So anyway, once you've got those items, um, what we need to do is. Uh, we need to download a couple of items. So first of all, let's go to the isozone.com. And in here we need to search for Explorer Space 360. And that's Explorer without an E. So Explorer. Okay. And then in our download section here, you can see Explorer 360. And we want to download that file there we go so I'm just going to click on the download link there and save that so that's that one done I'll close that one now and we also need to go to my Google code page so go to whufclee.googlecode.com Okay, whufclee.googlecode.com. And in the download section here, you are going to see um, a link for hex and game saves. So there's lots of different um, old Xbox stuff in here. And you want that one there. And we're going to click on that. And that is uh, all of the um, game saves all right up. So we're going to save that as well. Okay, so now that's completed. I'm just gonna I'm gonna open Explorer 360, and I'm gonna extract that to my desktop. Okay, so I'll close that one, and well, whilst that's doing that, I'm just gonna show you something else. Um, I'm on Windows 7, 64-bit, and for some reason, um, it throws an error when I try and open this. So if you're on um, something newer than XP that you might well run into this error so uh, I'm just going to try opening it and you'll see what I mean so it tells me it can't start because msvcr71.dll is missing from the computer so uh, for some reason uh, that Windows system file isn't on my computer and I don't know why I don't know if this is a uh, common problem but um, all we need to do is if you get that error go to Google and type in msvcr71 so let's go back here let's open um we've downloaded that let's go to google and it was msvcr let's close that 71 oh look, it comes up on the very first search thing here and if i click on that first one we should find that down here 
somewhere. Um, there we go, we've got the files there, so we can download those. Um, I want to save those. So I'm going to open them and extract. Uh, again, I'm just going to do it to the desktop. I'll close that and we've also got those uh, hex and game saves so I'm going to open them as well and I'll extract those to the um, desktop as well there we go right that's doing that I'll close that close that so with the system files that we've downloaded go into there and just copy them right click copy uh, go to C Windows and if you're on 32-bit Windows, they're going to go in System32. If you're on 64-bit Windows, which I am, they go in there. So uh, just go in there, right-click, paste. And now we should find that Explorer 360. There we go. It loads up now. Um, however, before I can do any more with that, um, I need to actually... Um, get my USB stick and make it um, uh, convert it into a uh, Xbox file system so uh, let's move on to the uh, Xbox okay right um, so here is my lead so as you can see we've got an Xbox uh, uh, connect to that side and we've got a female USB adapter there and here is my old little USB stick it's a, a free one from London Transport so um, what I'm going to do is pop this in there yep so we've got that end in there and I'm going to stick the other end in the Xbox in port 1 so that can go in there and I just want to show you with the controller um, there is no memory card in there okay there's no memory card in there at all and before you do this you want to make sure that there's nothing of importance on that USB stick because it's going to get completely erased okay so let's have a little look and um, all we need to do so you can see down here that's plugged in there um, we go up to the memory section and it comes up saying memory unit 1A. The memory unit you inserted isn't working correctly. It has been erased. So click OK. And that will get you out of there. And now we can just shut off the Xbox. So that is now off. And we need to go back to the computer. Um, I'm just going to stick that USB stick in the PC. So in it goes. And it asked me to format it because it's now in an Xbox format and Windows doesn't understand that. So make sure you don't click on format. You need to click cancel. Um, so click cancel. Now in Explorer 360, go to drive, open, hard drive or memory card. And you'll notice you've got a partition zero now. So click on that. So that's highlighted. And... With our game saves that we've got here, um, so we've got the 007 uh, Agent Under Fire one, we've got the Mech Assault one, and we've got Splinter Cell, uh, both regions, NTSC or PAL, depending on whether you're Europe uh, or outside, uh, somewhere like the US. So um, in my case, I'm going to use the 007 one. I've got the 007 Agent Under Fire game. So uh, just bring that down there. Now, all I need to do and like I say, make sure that that there is highlighted. Okay, partition zero. This file here, the one with the long numbers, just drag and drop into the right hand column here. So as you can see, that's uh, injecting that. Um, it should really only take a matter of seconds, um, depending on you know how fast your computer is, really. But um, it it shouldn't take too long. Um, there we go. So we now have that on that stick. So we are done with the computer side of things. Let's go back to the Xbox and check and see if it works. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. 
let's have a look. So just to prove uh, this is what I'm doing, I've got uh, that one there. Okay, I've got the USB stick in port one and in port two, I've got my game controller with no memory card in at all. Okay, so let's move up to memory and we want to click left to go to controller one and look at that there it is there is my 007 game save so what we need to do is click on that and copy and it says um, do you want to copy to the hard drive which I do yes and that's it that is the hard work done well, I say that's the hard work done. You've still got to do the actual soft mod yet without bricking your Xbox. But <laughs> hopefully my guys will help you help you walk you through that. Um, I really hope this has helped. Um, the hardest thing about this is going to be tracking down a USB stick that's compatible. Um, like I say, unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be any kind of compatibility list. But you can check xbmc4xbox.org.uk and um, there's been plenty of discussion on it and you know some users have um, explained what's worked for them or what hasn't worked for them so uh, best of luck